In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. A warm welcome to Mass this morning. Uh, in our Gospel today, the Lord opens the eyes of his disciples, as he does ours each time we celebrate the Eucharist, to the reality of his abiding presence with them and with us. And so to prepare our hearts and minds for this morning's celebration, let us call to mind the many things we do that are wrong and seek God's forgiveness and his peace. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Thank you. 
us pray. May your people exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to the people, You are Israelites, and it is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our ancestors, who has glorified his servant Jesus, the same Jesus you handed over and then disowned in the presence of Pilate, after Pilate had decided to release him. It was you who accused the Holy One, the Just One, you who demanded the reprieve of a murderer while you killed the Prince of Life. God, however, raised him from the dead, and to that fact we are the witnesses. Now I know, brothers, that neither you nor your leaders had any idea what you were really doing, this was the way God carried out what he had foretold when he said through all his prophets that his Christ would suffer. Now you must repent and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the first letter of St. John. I am writing this, my children, to stop you sinning. But if anyone should sin, we have our advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, who is just. He is the sacrifice that takes our sins away, and not only ours, but the whole world's. We can be sure that we know God only by keeping his commandments. Anyone who says, I know him, and does not keep his commandments, is a liar, refusing to admit the truth. But anyone does obey what he has said, God's love comes to him in perfection. This is the word of the Lord.
the scriptures to us. Make our hearts burn within us as you talk to us. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ, as it is written in the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. The disciples told their story of what had happened on the road and how they had recognized Jesus at the breaking of bread. They were still talking about this when Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. In a state of alarm and fright, they thought they were seeing a ghost. But he said, Why are you so agitated, and why are these doubts rising in your hearts? Look at my hands and feet. Yes, it is I indeed. Touch me and see for yourselves. A ghost has no flesh and bones as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and feet. Their joy was so great that they could not believe it, and they stood dumbfounded. So he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? And they offered him a piece of grilled fish, which he took and ate before their eyes. Then he told them, This is what I meant when I said, while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and in the Psalms has to be fulfilled. He then opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, So you see how it is written that the Christ would suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that in his name repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses to this. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Would you please sit down? Other than at the Tuesday Mass, which I say every week currently here, the last time I presided at the Sung Mass here at St. Stephen's was a fortnight ago last Thursday, Monday, Thursday, the night on which we recall the Last Supper of the Lord with his disciples, the gift of the Eucharist to the Church. In receiving this gift, the Church has faithfully repeated the sacrifice of the Lord day by day throughout the Christian millennia. Today, we are set with the disciples in their refuge in the upper room, where they were so frightened about all that was going on around them, the doors were firmly shut. Into their midst comes the resurrected Lord in flesh and blood. He shares a meal with them, presiding as he did on that faithful, fateful Thursday night before his passion at the Eucharist once more. This, he is telling us, is the means by which you will persevere in this life, holding fast to the faith at all times, good and bad. No need to shut up shop, open the doors, and know that through my Eucharistic presence I am with you always. Persevere. Perseverance is shot through not only the gospel for today, but through the whole story of the ministry, the passion, and the resurrection of the Lord, the miracles, the encounters, the Sermon on the Mount, those luminous moments in his baptism at the wedding of Cana in Galilee, in his transfiguration on the Holy Mountain, and at the Last Supper in giving the Holy Eucharist to the Church. These are all occasions through which, as, the encounter, as in the encounter on the Emmaus Road, in his attempts to open eyes to see and ears to hear, to shed light upon his meaning. 
illuminating the mystery of God and thus encouraging his followers, we ourselves, to persevere in our faith in good times and in bad. Every time I go to confession, I'm reminded of my former confessor, a chaplain to a convent of sisters, telling me the story of one of the sisters who came to him week by week for confession, kneeling down and saying, forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Yes. And it's the same for me. I think the priest must get bored of this. Isn't there something else I could do to spice it up? But no, our Lord doesn't promise us perfection in this life. That's what it, that is what is to come. But in order to get there, we need to persevere. And that's why I keep going back to bore that poor priest in West London time and again, same old sins. Rudyard Kipling has it, if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you but make allowance for their doubting too, yours is the earth and everything that's in it and which is more, you'll be a man, my son. As the days, as the eyes of the disciples gathered in that upper room in the gospel this morning are opened, they begin to understand the church is born. They begin to relate their experiences on the road, St. Luke tells us. That's what the church is about, the shared experience of God. The faith takes root, and from there, as they say, the rest is history. The fathers of the Second Vatican Council put it beautifully. From that time onwards, the church has never failed to come together to celebrate the Paschal mystery reading those things which were in all the scriptures concerning him, celebrating the Eucharist in which the victory and the triumph of his death are again made present, and at the same time giving thanks to God for his unspeakable gift in Christ Jesus in praise of his glory. Today is therefore a day for giving thanks to God for all those who along our own journey of life have helped to open our eyes and illuminate something of God's mystery for us. We are an Easter people, bathed in the enduring and unbroken love of God, who seeks us out, draws us to himself, empties himself and dies for us, enabling us to go on in the faith. He never gives up on us. This is our story, and we must never tire of telling it. Amen. And now, in union with our brothers and sisters throughout the world and down through countless ages, we stand to confess the faith of the Universal Church. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Holy Spirit is at work 
deep within the human heart, let us open our hearts to the Lord in prayer and place our trust in him. We pray that the leaders of the church may strengthen the faith of the Christian community. We remember especially those who hold authority among us, especially Bishop Jonathan and those who lead the church in difficult circumstances. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. We pray that Christians in this parish may proclaim the resurrection to those with whom they live and work, for ourselves that we may have the courage to witness to our faith, to our family and friends. Lord, in, our, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray that justice may prevail and that our society may become a place where the rights of all are respected for the people of Burma, Syria, and Bahrain at this time of tension. We also pray for the people of Ukraine, the people of the Holy Land, and we remember the people of Sydney at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all who suffer, especially those who are particularly ill at this time. Among them, we pray for those on our prayer list. We continue to remember our housebound church members and all who look after them. And we pray for all who are in our local hospitals, care homes and hospices. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We remember the departed that they may inherit the promises made to us through the resurrection of Christ. We pray for the recently departed and for those whose year's mind occurs this week. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We ask for the assistance and support of Mary's prayers as we say together, Hail, Hail Mary, Mary, full, full of, grace, of grace, the Lord, the Lord is, is with thee. thee. Blessed art thou, thou among women, women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and, and at the hour, hour of our, our death. death. Amen. Father, you nourish us with word and sacrament. Alone we can do nothing. Help us to recognize our need of your power. May your spirit strengthen us to live as faithful disciples and witnesses to the gospel. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord.
my brothers and sisters, that this, our sacrifice, may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given us, as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself to us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jonathan, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come.
Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of God's peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him that takest away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ.
Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those who were pleased to renew but you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Very welcome, a very warm welcome to all of you, especially those uh, who may be here for the first time or are recently returned. There is coffee served after Mass at the back of the church. The times of services this week are as usual, except for the fact that the Friday Mass is at 12.30, uh, and there will only be an 8 a.m. on the first Sunday of the month. Please check the website uh, homepage calendar for the correct details of services and changes. The Walsingham National Pilgrimage is at the end of May. We're not running a coach. People are invited to join St Albans South Norwood. Please speak to Greta today uh, as they need numbers as soon as possible. And whilst Father Michael is on sabbatical, the first point of contact is on the website. Telephone Greta or email um, admin at sswsml.com and see also the posters in church. There's a handwritten notice here, which I'm just trying to decipher. Um, raise some money and have some fun. The first of our fundraising competitions starts today. See Verna or Celia after Mass at the back of the church for the guest the time the watch stopped. Six goes for a pound as many times as you like. Suitable for all ages. Have a go. Prizes are to be won. I'm terribly sorry. I should have asked you to sit down. Had I done so, I'd now be asking you to stand up.
and be glad, O Virgin Mary, alleluia. Lord is risen indeed, alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who by the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, didst vouchsafe to give joy to the whole world, grant, we beseech thee, that through his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
all the time saying that. Yours? Yeah, did you? <laughs> did you? Scrap. Yeah. What a fun I think that's because you have to breathe there, yeah, don't you? Because I once did, I thought, why are you going to hold this on and make it a minute? Like, make it, why can't, this is stupid. But then I was like, that's why. Because I was literally like, <gasps> this is how I die. <laughs> so it must be to breathe. Yeah. 
Tchaikovsky. Yeah, so I'm finish it. Did she, did she, 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 she,